hello guys welcome back to the channel and i know the world cup has come to an end and now we know the winner no argentina with their captain de la messi winning his first world cup okay and also argentina winning their third world cup totally fantastic uh team and uh the finals were very very cagey even though france did not start very well but they, they came in from the 67th minute and also through the extra time penalties and i know hi hey, argentine's goalkeeper the, the guy is great so i'll be telling you about these fantastic stories you know one about the black stars you know minister saying that Charlie, the black star technical team eh, who shook the whole world and also kim grant you remember kim grant formerly of Accra has so folk okay we also giving some directive and so some that things like uh advice to uh, ghana football association and also ministry of youth and sports for uh, for them to use to develop ghana football but before i talk about these stories this is very new my name is kofi i think i think i kindly subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell share this video to your friends like and also kindly comment okay so remember kim uh grant okay uh you know say that ghana should have five to ten year development uh plan okay you know former black stars striker kim grant says that there should be five to ten year development plan for ghana football following the country early exit from the 2022 fifa world cup black stars needed a technical direction uh, there should be a complete overhaul there should be five to ten years plan for development both local and international infrastructure scouting and sports uh, science should be look at video analysis also needs to be look at and how to uh, go far with everything so that is what kim grant is saying that ghana need a technical everything should be put in place scouting infrastructure uh player development everything that needs uh to be done so that blasters will uh, and also ghana football will be back to its normal form again so kim grant is formerly ghana blaster striker you know most people don't know that kim grant uh play for ghana okay play for ghana but i was said i'm born he, yeah he was those uh play that they will be called and they will be certain bench you know not take uh part in blasters matches and other stuff so kim grant is giving some advice to ghana football association and also ministry of it and sports you know the black stars is without head coach and ghana football association is said to appoint a new technical team after otuado les uh team uh, mandate expired after the world cup otuado stepped down after uh ghana failed to qualify to the run of 16 in the fifa world cup qatar 2022 ghana was in the same group with uh, group, uh, countries like uh, portugal south korea and also uruguay okay and uh, ghana only won one of the three games losing to portugal and uruguay narrow defeating uh, south korea ghana just needed just a draw 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 okay to qualify to uh run 16 but they they fail to do that so now ghana will kick out and argentina was able to win their world cup after everything that they said that ghana is going to win the world cup ghana is going to do amfa, amfa, minya, amfa. okay so let me also also shift the attention and talk about what the minister is saying so the minister is saying that uh, Ghana need a good technical team to surprise the world. That's the Minister of Youth and Sports. Okay, let me talk about, let me give you the details. You know, Ghana uh, Sports Minister Mustafa Yusuf has said that uh, Ghana need a good technical team for the Black Stars. Okay, and believing that it is the key to the team's success. Ghana Football Association is said to appoint a new technical team after Otuado team. Uh, they, they they were kicked out from World Cup and so they decided to step down for another people to uh, take over here okay? and this is what uh, Minister of Retail and Sports said. He said we have a very young team what happened in Qatar shows that we have a bright future and if we keep them together and get a good technical team uh, to man them we will create a surprise in their world uh, that's what he said he, he, like he did this uh, interview with uh, Kumasi Base FM that's a pure pure FM okay now he continues that we have a talent from 20 21 and 22 years and if you look at what Kudus Muhammad exhibited if we are able to play together for very long time we will have a good future so that is what he's saying say hey, master you're a good future power you play if you check what Kudus Muhammad did in the World Cup it was very fantastic and so we have players one players who are 
yes, 21 years, 22, 23, and as we have players who are less than 20 years. A player like Avatar with Sahaku was there, and I play, he played with the Black Stars, the World Cup. And uh, if they play together, that's the thing. If these players uh, play together, not that this tournament they will call different uh, players, another game will call different players. A little more mix and mix, it change coach, coach change way, change way, free way. Now, like even those who try, the woman qualifies a bit from then they will call them and come and play those who deserve to play will be certain bench. Yeah, if we do that, they forget about the technical team. Well, even if we, we have uh, Pep Guardiola with Moreno being his assistant or uh, Moreno being head coach, Pep Guardiola being the assistant, uh, we can gather all the best coaches in the world. But if we don't call the right players and don't allow the coaches to do their job, Minister, forget nobody nobody can be able to manage the blasters very well if we don't allow the coaches to work perfectly together as a head coach and also if they don't uh, perform uh it's very difficult for these guys to be uh, able to perform you know kudos was ghana's best player in Qatar, scoring two goals and creating one goal for that one year for sure kudos Mohamed was our best striker and best player uh, in the World Cup, he scored two fantastic goals and also did assist. You know, mm, very fantastic player, Kuris Mohamed. He's even now under the radar of uh, so many clubs in the English Premier League and also La Liga, Bundesliga. All of them want to sign him because uh, they have seen the potentials in Kuris Mohamed. And I uh, you know, uh, Jackin Club won him and he made former uh, approach to him. And also Everton, yeah, the Everton also trying to sign him last a transfer window a summer transfer window but they couldn't get him so they are trying to see if they went out they will be able to get him in general transfer window to see if they will be able to sign and also Borussia Dortmund also trying very hard to get Kudus Mohammed. all this uh story is because Kudus went to the World Cup perform even before the World Cup he plays so well in the UEFA Champions League so if the other players also come together play and also as it be the same talent going to the World Cup it would be uh, a good thing for Ghana having a solid squad and also good technical team so that they will be able to surprise the world as the Minister of Youth and Sports uh, Mustafa Hamid or uh, Mustafa Yusuf Hamid is trying to say so guys so let me know what you think about all the ministers saying do you think that a good technical team alone can be able to surprise the world with the blasters current materials or you think the administration and administrators of the uh, ghana football association also need to be changed or they yeah change the attitude and the way they manage the blasters this is Betty news tv the names to remain kofi i think i think can you subscribe to the channel hit notification bell share this video to your friends like and also comment thank you for us so sweet thank you very much bye bye for now